everybody, it's Charles from Craving Shaving again. Um, <clears throat> I was tagged in another video. Tim Shaves tagged me in a video. Um, it was called for him like one product shave. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to title it this time. But let me explain the premise of this. Basically, if I could only use one product, one, one item from each type of shaving thing for the rest of my life, what would it be? And... <laughs> That's that's a doozy of a question. So we're going to go through that. Um, I'm not going to even pretend that this is still going to be my list tomorrow. But I've thought about this for several days. And these are the products that I came up with. For Some of them I have pretty solid reasons behind uh, behind it. Some of them like, well, that's just right now kind of what I feel like. <laughs> so we're just going to go with it and don't, I don't know. It's just fun. Just don't take it, I guess, too seriously. So, um, first of all, the uh, razor that I've chosen is the Rockwell 6C, um, and I am counting all of the plates with it. So everything you purchase when you get the 6C. Um, this is the one that I have the biggest reasoning behind. I do have another razor that you guys have heard me talk about as my favorite razor, this one, but it doesn't have an interchangeable base plate. It gives it uh, the versatility that, that uh, this one has. The brush is currently one of my favorites. This is just kind of one of those, I'm loving this brush right now. Um, it's the gel tip knot that I uh, am testing out. Hopefully we'll carry sometime. And what I'll be whipping up with this is one of my first soaps that I really just enjoyed. And that's Katie Bubbles, Katie's Bubbles. Saturday morning uh, Fruit Loop type scent on that and it's just because first of all the soap is great as far as the quality and just a super nostalgic Fruit Loop type scent it's just great I love it um, it's fun um, this one I generally don't use often because I just want it to last as long as I can get it to last um, so, so I just kind of set it aside for special occasions, I suppose. Um, but I love it. It's great. Um, I was tempted when I, when I first got it, it was one of the only soaps that I had. I think I had this, I had the Vonderhagen stuff still, and I had Pharaoh's Dreamsicle. And not much else, I don't think. And it was really hard not to just use this all the time. But at the time, especially when I only had just a few soaps, I thought, man, if I use it all up, then it's going to be gone, and oh, I can't have that. And so, I uh, kind of rationed it, and that's kind of continued, even though I probably don't have to. But I also try to cycle through things. There are some soaps that I love that I just haven't gotten through gotten to in a long time. Lost a hair in that brush. It's the first time that's happened, I think. Maybe not. No, it hasn't lost very many hairs. Alright. Wet my face. Alright. Um, if you guys, if you guys are way into uh, April Fool's stuff. I apologize. I'm not <laughs> much into that. Um, I thought about making a list of my favorite things and putting like Williams on that. You guys know I don't like Williams if you've watched any of my other videos. Which I'm guessing if you're watching this one, this isn't one that you just kind of find run across. I'm guessing you've all seen my other stuff. Unless you're coming from Tim's channel and this is the first one you've seen maybe. Alright. This stuff performs great, but even even so, I would say that the uh, uh, scent is the thing that does it for me, even though the performance is fantastic. 
blades I'm using are my go-to 7 o'clock sharp edge uh, blades, which are just great. And this is on the fourth base plate at the moment. So middle of the road. High end of the middle, I guess. Um, as far as people I'm tagging in this, I did talk to Chris from Another Cut Above. And he said that he would try to get around to it, but he's, of course, very busy, as many of us are, teaching our kids <laughs> what, we're, what they were supposed to be learning. So we're still in school, even though we're all at home, right? So, if he gets around to making this video, that'd be great. Um, I did not ask this next individual, but Jeremy, Tyler... I'm curious to see what you would put for your items that you'd use if you were stuck with just one of each. Here's why this was such a hard decision for me. One of the main reasons why I like this variety of shaving is you get options, right? You're not stuck with, oh, the same soap or cream or probably canned foam or whatever that you were always using before. But uh, you can change it up. Shaving's different every time. Good gracious. I am not nearly as good at lathering with a... Uh, Badger brush. I am as with a synthetic. This is kind of a sad affair right now. Okay. You don't need much. That's one thing I've learned. I like. I enjoy having big voluminous lathers. You don't need them. You can get by with a skiff on there as long as long as it's. Slick enough. And this soap is, man. This is good soap. Nice and slick. went down there. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Anyway. I can't imagine going back to the way I used to shave, you know? I was one of the uh, grab an electric razor people for a while. Quite a while. It was only if uh, my wife and I were going on a date or, you know, before church maybe or, you know. Something like that, that I would bust out the cartridge razor and, you know, because it was a pain and... Seemed to cause more problems than it solved, you know? And so, most days, I would just grab the electric razor and go, but I would almost rather not shave at all. This is already, I could stop right now and be fine. But I'm not going to do that. Come on. Let's do one more.
gonna whip up a little more lather and I'll be right back. Okay. So I just didn't want to have to do that on camera again. Mmm. Soap smells so good. And this brush is so soft. Almost gel-like, if you can imagine. Um, I'm hoping within the next couple months I'll be carrying knots like this. Hopefully, they are more premium. They do cost more. I'll obviously still have my less expensive knots. Which are really good too. I love the synthetic knots that I have in my shop right now. They're really, really nice. Lots of backbone. Not too much though. Some of them, one of them, in my opinion, has way too much backbone. I'm almost out of them. Um, it's called the Supervisor Knot. If you're a fan of like really stiff, well that's a backbone. It's still fairly soft. I mean it's synthetic so it's not going to be really pokey. Tell you what, that's the one. I'm probably not going to buy more of those um, when I run out. Unless people who have tried them are like, you got to keep carrying that, which I haven't heard. Several people have said, I like that knot, I really enjoy it, but no one said, you know, make sure you keep carrying them. I'm, I'm a horrible salesman. Horrible. <laughs> I worked for a company, it was a lawn care company, when I was starting college. And uh, lawn care company is called Weed Man. Don't get the wrong idea. It was lawn care. And I was working sales on the phones. And my job was to call people and ask them if they would want us to. take care of the lawn one problem though <laughs> this was in Idaho and it was January <laughs> and it had snowed a ton there was like three feet of snow on the ground we're calling people like would you like us to take care of your lawn and they're like uh <laughs> what lawn there's three feet of snow on there um, people were not worried about their lawn and they wanted us to you know really sell it I'm just not that person man I am not that person at all because I would never hire someone um, to take care of my lawn I, I don't know I'm, I mean not that there's anything wrong with that I'm just too cheap to um, and so when people said no you know we we're really supposed to sell them on it and uh, I'm just, I didn't, the only sale I got working that job was this one guy, I called him up and I said, do you want us to do your lawn? He said, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. And I had to hurry and remember what to do in that situation and whatnot and get them all signed up and stuff. But uh, it was funny because they hired like four or five of us, well, more like probably five or six of us, all of us brand new put us on this sales team, cold calling people off of this list. And uh, it was funny because I think me and one other person were the only ones who got sales the whole time I was working there. And uh, the other guy was a better salesman than I was. He got three or four sales. 
And uh, every day they would say, hey, if you don't get a sale today, we're going to have to let you go. We're going to fire you. And, and so I'd be like, oh, no. And I'd go home. I was newly married, you know, and um, I'd go home and I'd just be stressing about it. And then I'd go in the next day. And, you know, if you don't get a sale today, we're going to have to fire you. And then as the shift had end, no one had any sales. And they'd be like, all right, well, we'll see you tomorrow. But, wait, what? <laughs> Finally, it was too stressful. And I was like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. And I quit. Didn't tell my wife I was going to quit. I just quit. And then luckily, a, a job opened up that day that I was able to get into. And it all worked out well. But uh, it was kind of crazy. Um... But I tell it how it is, and I really have a hard time backing something that I'm not able to put my opinion, my good opinion behind. And that goes with craving shaping too, whether that's good or bad. Um, well, as I would kind of expect, a little bit of soreness here. I'm guessing it's from when I kind of dry shaped on that. I shouldn't have. But uh, it'll be fine. Really, really nice. Okay. Now, one product left to talk about. Um, and that is the Aftershave Organism... Uh, what is it? 46. I almost said 56. Organism 46B Star Jelly. No, it would definitely be a... <clears throat> Whoa. <clears throat> It would definitely be a star jelly. Um, I really like the form factor. I like that there's some alcohol involved, but it's still kind of like a, a lotion. I am probably going to order more star jellies. So, again, I have more variety, but for now, it's between the, uh, Organism 46B and Space Nog, which, I mean, oh, man, I like both of them. Really the clinching factor between those two in this choice is my wife likes Organism 46B a lot more than Space Nod, so that's what, uh, that's what wins out. So again, if I were to only have to use one razor for the rest of my life, 40, er, this is not the 46B, I apologize guys. Um, alright, the, uh, whatever this is, the Rockwell, uh, 6S would be the razor. Saturday morning from Katie's Bubbles would be the soap. The brush that I made with the uh, Jill Tip Knot, man guys, forgetting everything, would be the brush. Um, as of right now anyway. And then uh, the blades would be the Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge and the aftershave the organism 46b so that's my list chris and jeremy if you are up to the challenge no pressure if you're not um i'll challenge you guys to this same uh shave challenge um if, if you had to choose right now not definitively for all time but just for right now um what would you choose as your stuff that you use if you couldn't go buy out other buy other stuff i guess this uh you know if you were stuck on quarantine for indefinitely what stuff would you hope to have the most in your den maybe that's a better way to put it anyway thanks for tuning in uh, i've got a big drop coming on saturday if you're watching this you know the same time that i'm posting it so uh keep an eye out for that other than that i think that's it Thank you for tuning into this episode of Craving Shaving. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're staying safe. And uh, have a good day.